citizens and participants flocked in numbers at the Jamuhuri show ground. Destination, the ground arena awaiting the official opening of this year's trade fair. Security was not left to chance as sniffer dogs made sure that no one was a security threat. On the other hand, the presidential team made sure that the dyers was up to code ahead of the president's arrival. Entertainment was in plenty, from cultural to modern, ensuring both the young and the old were accommodated. Rise. And the awaited hour reached the guest of honor, President Uhuru Kenyatta. The commander-in-chief of the Kenya Defense Forces entered the arena. Inside his military Land Rover, a clear indication of power. Rise! Wajamhuri! Ya Kenya! The crowd greeted him with cheers and ululations as he went on to inspect the Guard of Honor mounted by the Kenya Air Force from Moy Air Base, Nairobi. And when the president stood up for his address, he started by thanking the Agricultural Society of Kenya, ASK, for an amazing organization of this year's trade fair. And let me begin by commending the Agricultural Society of Kenya for organizing from what we have seen today, a world-class trade fair. Pongezi. Indeed, it is worth applauding ASK. It is a fact that for 117 years of your experience and existence, you have served the Kenyan farmer with complete dedication. We are truly, deeply grateful for that service. The president went on to point out how the theme of this year's trade fair is timely for the nation. This year's theme, innovation and technology in agriculture and trade, is both important as well as timely. Innovation and technology in agriculture and trade are at the cornerstone of my administration's commitment to job creation through manufacturing, and ensuring food security for all Kenyans through enhancement in agriculture, two pillars of our Big Four agenda. We as a country should be proud to note that we are the undisputed regional hub of innovation, especially with regard to digital technologies. Nearly 25% of all of Africa's agricultural technology startups are initiated and hosted here in Kenya. He went on to reiterate the government's plan to reduce the cost of food and also challenged millers and producers not to overburden Kenyans with exaggerated prices. We have stocks amounting to some 9.8 million bags. So in 2018, we are talking of 56 million bags being available compared to our annual consumption of 52 million bags. That means that we shall have an excess of 4 million bags. In a rational environment, this should translate to significant reduction in the price of maize flour. And I therefore join Governor, Governor Sonko and want to be clear, since supply has risen, dealers should do the right thing to their fellow Kenyans and ease prices. I, I encourage our millers to be considerate and mindful of their social responsibility. In his usual fashion, the head of state put his feet down and warned those taking advantage of farmers by stealing their money, leaving them to languish in poverty. And the agriculture seers, Mwangi Kyunjuri, was not spared the presidential wrath. Pesa ya kulipa wa kulima wa mahindi ilikuwa kwa budget yetu ya mwako uliopita. Na tunajua haswa hawa watu wa national serious board badala ya kulima wa kulipa wa kulima wale ambao wametoa jasho yao kwa mashamba yao ndio wapate mahindi wauze waweze kusomesha watoto wao 
walienda na wakaanza kulipa matajiri na wengine huko ma traders wakamaliza pesa kwa traders badala ya kulipia ule mkulima ambaye ametoa jasho i promise you and i swear before god you try that again and you will see what is going to happen to you sisi hatutaki mchezo tena kwa sababu tumeona yale ambayo mmefanya na wale ambao walifanya tutawafuata pesa ya serikali ni ya mwananchi kwanza lipa mwananchi yule ambaye ametoa jasho ya kulima shamba lake sitaki niongeze zidi ya hapo niseme Mungu awabariki nyote na waalinde asanteni sana The event culminated with a colorful ceremonial performance by the Armed Forces Band. The Nairobi International Trade Fair, which brought together all stakeholders in promoting innovation and technology in agriculture and trade, has been officially opened today by a tough speaking president who has warned people who take advantage of the farmers they will receive strict consequences from the government. Reporting for Bramplas TV, I am Karari John Wambugu.